following contest is a fatal five-way Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from overseas, weighing in at 163 pounds, the Super Pro Wrestling Extreme Undisputed Triple Crown Junior Champion, Spike Bob Squire. Hey, where was the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? Weighing in at 163 pounds, one half of the Super Pro Wrestling Extreme Undisputed Triple Crown Junior Champions, Squire Ward Technical. Matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. Weighing in at 163 pounds, Patrick Storm. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work nonstop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. From overseas, weighing in at 163 pounds, Eugene. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. From Texas, weighing in at 163 pounds. Some would say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> that is horrible advice. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. Here we go, guys. Hell in a Cell. Only way you win is by 
Pinfall or submission, nowhere to escape. The cell designed to torture, designed to contain, truly nowhere to run. Belly to back suplex. No! Oh, that'll rock you. That was nasty. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Great reversal. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any road ninja attacks. Wow! Catches a punch. What kind of mindset does it take to be able to succeed inside an in cell? You need killer instinct. There's no time to catch your breath or worry about external factors. It's all about attacking harder and winning at any cost. Turning the tables. Able to avoid there. In the hard way. Here's the combo of strikes. Just relentless. He got ripped into that corner. Oh, shot to the jaw. He's taking some good hits. He gets back into the ring. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh, and again. Hey, wait, wait, wait on your opponent. Whoa, just flowing through the air. Is it enough? The cover two. And he fights it off. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. He's returning fire. Vicious kicks to the jaw. Brutal stomp to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch.
Squire, Ward, Technical. That's the kind of win that can take their career to the next level. I don't care if it's your fifth victory or your 5,000th. As he's showing right now, nothing matters more here in WWE than having your name called and your arm raised.